Hello, my name is Stephen Boone and I wanted to make this little video to talk about my small miniature hand planes or the mini planes. These planes are available at Luthier Suppliers and that's Tracy Levesque that runs that place. So let's talk about this little guy right here. You have three major components with your mini plane. The first one is the body and then the blade and then the wedge. Now I make these blades here in the shop, actually in the garage, out of 01 tool steel and then I grind them uh, and flatten them out. So I, I just get the business edge nice and sharp for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to set the blade in the plane. It's quite simple. All you're going to want to do is have a nice uh, flat piece of wood, just a piece of plywood here and I'm going to place the, the body of the plane like so and then I'll take the wet, the bevel the bevel and it goes down in the body like that and I don't do anything tricky other than just try to line everything up and have everything sit in there just the way it wants to. From here I'll take the wedge and I'll gently put the wedge in and I'll push it until it's snug. And hopefully that's it. The way to check is that I'll sight down I'll sight down here and I want to I want to see the smallest little hairline of blade protruding from underneath the body of the plane when I sight down it. And it's such a small amount there's no way I can effectively show you here on the video. In this instance this one's a little bit proud so I'll just repeat the process until I get what I want. And there's a little bit of a feel to it and so you, you in order to do this I'll pull the wedge out and then reset the blade and put the wedge back in. And then I check again and I'm looking for a very very the smallest amount of blade poking out that I can get. And sometimes it takes a couple times to get it but that's all there is to it. Now that I've got the blade set to the proper depth, which is barely peeking out, I want to show you uh, with a few passes what we can do, uh, what kind of shavings you can expect to get. So I've got a piece of spruce, it's an offcut from a soundboard, and I'll just put it on edge here. And as we go through here, that heavy blade that I make, that one eighth inch blade, just powers right through the cut. No worries. So you can see that that makes a nice thin shaving just like that. Now I want to talk about some subtle things that I do to these plane bodies to make them help you to shave uh, the braces on your guitar tops and backs. And of course you can use this all over the guitar. I find myself reaching for this guy quite a bit. But the first thing that I've done is that I've left the wedge pretty bang. And the reason why is I actually use this as a handle. I hold the plane with the wedge if I'm going to go in and do things with the body of the plane on its side. In addition to that, I've tapered the sides themselves to where they're almost zero where the blade protrudes from the body of the plane. And that's a, this is gradual the tapers I could get without actually uh, getting into the brass. And what that's going to do is allow me, if that's laying flat, I can tilt it up and then get that blade almost to the edge of my soundboard here, my simulated uh, plywood soundboard, like so, and that really helps. Additionally, I bevel the front and the back on the sides so that in case you have a uh, um, bridge patch, that'll help the blade, that'll help the plane to glide over any bridge patch that you might have, or a center strip, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Now I'd like to show the mini plane in relationship to carving a brace or shaping a brace that would be close to the simulated uh, soundboard. So you can see the way to use this guy is to place it flat and then I can tilt it and I can begin to carve and shape any kind of a brace right there and I can get that, I can get that bevel which is, let's see if I can bring this in here. Oh. 
I can get that bevel pretty evident right there. So you see how I was able to bevel the side of that brace, the simulated brace, and get it very, very close to where the soundboard would be, like that. So let me show you that. Just come right through. That works really well. Now I'd like to give a very fast demonstration of, of uh, using the mini plane on an actual guitar back. I'm building this back. It's an OLF SJ, which I'm quite pleased with. There it is. And so we can see this when I'm, I've, I've got basically just a block uh, shape here. And to bring this in, I can use the mini plane quickly like this to bring that down and so that's you know that's a piece of cake it's no big deal there and then later when I want to come through and let's say I wanted to do the ed the sides here if I want to put a taper on this I can bring it in like so and put a taper on it that way and then later when I, I, I want to bring that taper further down I'll be able to to run the, the plane on the side here. And you can see even at this point I can take a shaving. And you'll notice I have the blue tape there. The blue tape in conjunction with this leading edge being slightly beveled. It just lets that mini plane just jump right over the center strip. And then if I take that off, we're going to have no damage here. Of course you still want to be careful you could still damage it, but if you take your time and be careful, you shouldn't have any problems. So anyway, there's my mini plane, and I appreciate you guys if you purchased one, and hopefully this video will help you to set it up, and if you're interested in getting a mini plane, they're available through Luthier Suppliers, and that's Tracy Levesque's website. So thank you very much, and I appreciate your time.